Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for mo it's Leo speaking. Today I want to show you a little bit more what you can do or what the feedback delay network rack is capable of. In particular, we are going to uh, use it to create a membrane type of sound or texture. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, let's click on the plus sign. Let's go to generator and um, let's clear actually the search. Let's go to generator and let's go to impulse. Okay, um, if you check one of my previous tutorials, I have already covered the impulse rack, but let's change the shape to pulse so it has a little bit more body. Perfect. Now let's click on the plus sign and let's go on the processor or indeed you can search as well if you like to do so. And let's scroll where it says, uh, here we go, FDN. Okay, let's, let's play. Okay, now let me show you what happens when I start to increase the spread. Almost sounds like a ball actually bouncing, but uh, it gradually becomes more and more like a membrane type of sound. Even better if you decrease the frequency on the high dump. And now you have a nice membrane like on a big drum, which is actually playing or vibrating. Let's give it stereo. Really nice. Let's decrease the high dump more. Really nice. And if you want it to vibrate a little bit less, de decrease the decay. If you have, if you want to have a little bit more tension in the membrane, give it a bit of tension with the dial up here. The other thing you can do is to change the pitch as well. Sounds like almost like a very tensed uh, piece of string or elastic um, that you are actually picking on. Let's give it a more decay. remove the tension let's increase the mix setting really really nice indeed now you can also play a little bit further so for example let's increase the noise here on the impulse rack interesting type of sound let's uh, reduce the dump and also the decay completely different type of sound the other thing as well you can do is acting on the length here of the impulse again it gives you a different type of sound let's decrease the pitch Oh, wow. Really nice, like a big drum. So you can really create your own preset and then use those inside your music compositions. And of course you can do other things as well. So for example, you could say, well, Let's add, for example, on the processor, let's choose um, something like uh, the amplitude envelope attack in decay and let's connect it to the pitch. Why not? A 
again, you can hear the sound is changing again. Or let's increase the decay, for example. Okay, as you can see, you can spend a lot of time and have a lot of fun using the FTN rack to create your own membrane and drum sound inside Drumbo. So it's really a fantastic rack. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and I see you at the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.